Our military veterans have tremendous skills and experience, but many of them struggle to re-enter civilian life. Because of this, our state and our community suffer an enormous loss in potential human capital. When we invest in the success of our veterans, we create lasting change that strengthens our economy and benefits everyone. The problem isn't a lack of services, but a lack of coordination between those services. Mission United brings veteran services under one streamlined process so that veterans and their families have a single entry point for help. That can be job training and placement, free legal assistance, affordable housing, mental health care, financial coaching, and so much more. Mission United provides military veterans and their families a navigator who guides them through the process and stays by their side until they overcome their challenges and achieve their goals. Each and every day, thousands of Americans, men and women, young men and women, our nation's treasure, put their life on the line for the freedoms that our nation enjoys. We as a nation owe them a debt of gratitude, but more importantly, what we owe them is an opportunity to get reintegrated into our society as fully functional members. What we're trying to do with Mission United specifically is help them deal with those issues, but more importantly, what we can do is get them reintegrated into society as a fully functional member of our economy. So I was in South Vietnam and the first mission I went on, first patrol I went on, there was a Marine that got both legs blown off. When you see something like that happen, you're thinking that maybe my next step, it could be me. You know, I didn't know what was wrong with me when I got out. I knew something was wrong, but I didn't know what. I was having severe nightmares. There was nights I couldn't really sleep and there was different sounds that would put me back in Vietnam. And that still happened up until this day. I was a 91 Bravo medical specialist. I figured I would try to learn something about medicine just in case I could help someone. All my drinking started when I was in the military. I got kind of got stuck on alcohol. I broke back. I got titanium bolts in my back, bone chips out of both field. I went from wheelchair walker to cane. You know, being stuck at home all the time, uh, by yourself, alone, then you don't know if you're gonna be able to walk and stuff like that. And next thing I know, I'm taking my medicines and alcohol, and that's a bad situation because I was in a bad spot. As a young child, I grew up in the 50s and 60s, and I saw men come back from World War II who were adversely affected by that environment. As an older child, I saw a number of people go through this transition who were coming out of Vietnam. And then as a military member, what I've seen are those that were in places like Afghanistan or in Iraq or in Southwest Asia serving our nation. And what was obvious to me is we needed to do something to help them. I was exposed to Agent Orange in Vietnam. And one of the diseases that Agent Orange caused was diabetes. So I was diagnosed with diabetes. And over the years, I developed what's called diabetic neuropathy. And I have it in both legs from the knee down, which I have very, you know, little feelings in my feet and my leg. I had never heard of mission united until I came here one day to file a claim. The good deeds that Mission United did for me, that made me feel real grateful. They remodeled my bathroom, like put bars in the showers and bars on the side of the commode. My back patio, they screamed it in. The flower garden in the yard, and it was awesome. I mean, they made me feel so special with the work that they did. With me, Miss United is, is helping me right now because the simple fact is I have a home, but my home is unlivable. I said, well, it's best for me to just go pick up a baseball bat and go downtown and bust out one of us and go to jail. Because I even thought about it, I said, well, go out in the woods and do it. Get it over with. Well, nobody find me. I'm good, I, I won't be fine. I'll just be missing. You're missing you not that stopped me on my deadly spiral. I was spiraling out of control. 
I wanted to get my life right. I'm trying to get my life back together. And, and I knew I couldn't put it back together my, by myself. But I had to ask for help. And I came and asked, ask for help, just ask. We have, I believe, a moral responsibility of taking care of those that served our nation. This whole discussion about Mission United isn't just philanthropic. It's a wonderful thing to take care of those who protect our freedoms. But the reality is, this is also about jobs in Georgia. This is about the opportunity of taking veterans who have proven their abilities and skills and may have one or two issues to deal with. But once we solve that issue for them, they're tremendously productive, proven members that can help our economy. You see men and women come back who have faced the horrors of war, who've been shot at, who've been shot, who've been wounded, who've had their bodies destroyed in many ways. And it's not just the bodies, it's the minds. There are a number of people out there who just simply need help to be able to deal with that. So if we deal with one individual, one issue at a time, which is what Mission United does, we get to where we want to be.